Ash United TV, I'm joined by manager Michael Clegg after a 3 0 defeat at home against Mickleover. Michael, what's your thoughts after that one? Just hurt, really. It, it's just been a, an awful 10 days, probably hardest in management, to be honest, with unavailability and injuries. And then this morning, you have Brewster and Greg who drop out again. And like I said Tuesday, you can't make it up as you go along at this level. And, and it's a back five today, and they barely knew each other's name. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And and we and we spoke in the changing rooms before the game about we we needed to be exciting, we needed to score goals because the likelihood of us conceding was high, um, and we just didn't give ourselves a fighting chance. And it it's so tough. I mean, I think there was ended up ten unavailable today, and I think any team at any level would struggle with that. And and it's just been a torrid ten days. Yeah, I feel that. Looking at the game, there was plenty of positives to take from it. Do you feel your side could have potentially got something out of it? I just think we, it, it was a tale of two boxes, weren't it? They were better than us in both. I th- we created some good moments in the game without without getting a goal. And, and then, I mean, to be honest, we, without making massive... Uh, they, their goal when they scored the third was at a great time for them because we, we was on top and, and we was looking good. But... I, I think today for us it's more of another game out of the way and I think what I am really proud of is the work rate and how we've dealt with the last 10 days as a club because we could have gone just bringing loads of different players in and but the reality is we don't need loads of different players the, the, the answers to the problems are within the squad but them lads are unavailable but it's just going to be another another tough couple of games because them, them players aren't back from that but at the same time we, it, I keep saying it but it's, it's square pegs round holes and yeah. You've got lads constantly playing out of position and it's like today we didn't want to bring Josh on. He's got a nasty gash on his eye and then Josh is having to come on at half time. Then we lose Sam Sheridan and you 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 just you, you're just struggling to to kind of have a plan and and have some kind of focus because it, it it's just relentless at the minute with the problems are off off and on the pitch and it, with it with injuries and stuff and I don't know whether it's because we've had a big break um, and lads and then getting muscle pulls and all that kind of stuff but I've just never quite known anything like this. It's a very unique situation. How have you and your staff been dealing with it? We've tried to be positive and then but today you know you, you're doing an interview and you know they get watched but I'm really deflated today and and uh, and listen I knew at three o'clock this was going to be a tough afternoon I weren't expecting us roll Mickle over at like three or four nil today I knew it was going to be tough but at the same time we just didn't give ourselves a chance I mean are we two nil down after fi- is it 15 minutes and, and and the two goals could have been dealt with. I mean, I mean today we've had a bat line which we threw together, but all that bat line had pace. It didn't really have much height. And then we find ourselves defending on the edge of the box, so we're susceptible to headed goals and crosses, and that's what happened. And then if we want to get in a foot race, you're going to struggle to beat us in a foot race with Lafardu, with Bemba, with Shez and um, with Young Adam in the bat line. And and I just feel like the lads could have. Could have just done a bit better of, of the simple things, I think. But we've just had a good chat in there and I've let them know how I'm feeling. Um, I want them to feel how the staff are feeling. Um, I feel let down by some. I don't feel let down by them all. Um, and, and they've been told. Yeah. Debut for 17-year-old Adam Owen. What did you make of his performance today? He was good. Uh, I, I was just mentioned that in the changing room. He's probably put more crosses in the box today than we have as a club all season. And, and he's done well and... But it's men's football, and he's and he's had a couple of tough moments in the game. But I was dead grateful um, to stop Port County for letting us have him for today and for Tuesday. Um, we've obviously JP not being available, so he, he's done great. I mean, we, we're possibly going to have to look at bringing a couple in, but we didn't want to do it that way. We wanted to go with our squad and kind of just stick it out while I was having a rough time. And there's no good time to. Um, to go through a patch like this but I think it's nine games in 28 days and it's come at a time which has just been horrific for us and if we'd have had back-to-back Saturdays it would have given us time to plan and to prep but we're throwing teams together and we've no real time to plan and prep because it's game after game after game but you know it, it, it's my toughest time as a manager I've ever experienced because my squads are normally pretty tight I don't deal with many players and we normally are, our 11's normally a bit predictable but I bet you guys would have been guessing all morning about the 11 with a put together and 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 you're only guessing as much as I am you know you so I I just I just felt 
especially with all this Covid situation and stuff and, and can't really get together with the lads and stuff. It, it's been a real tough 10 days and then obviously the, the Greg situation this morning as well, it just capped it off for us because he, he's just so big for us as well. So then to, to miss all them and then your keeper goes out, at like he's out from, from this morning, 10 o'clock, it's just the writing's on the wall really. Yeah, looking forward to Tuesday night. Brad Cliff, what have you made to their mixed start to the season? They're just uh, uh, well, they're just a big strong team. I've, they're a team I've got, I've, um, I've managed to watch, and it, it's gonna, it's gonna be a. We're gonna have to have our tin hats on. They like playing a lot of balls. They're very direct. They're a big strong side, and I mean we might have to bring a couple in. We we didn't want to start going down that route, Tom. We've got a. What 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 we do need to to make quite clear here, our answers are within the squad. We made a very good start with the team I want on the pitch, but that team I want on the pitch just hasn't been available, and and then we've been found wanting. So it's going to be tough, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and set up as best we can. But we might have to look about bringing another couple of defenders in because any team at any level you can't miss your back four. And I feel for Lafardu because he's just been a one man defending machine, Annie, for the last three games and. It, it, it's just been really tough. We, we've got to try and stay positive. It's a long season, especially with everything what's going on, and you're living week to week as well, thinking, is it going to be stopped? Is it not? And it, it, it's just been so, so tough. But I'll carry on preparing as we can and, and doing as best we can. It's just been um, just been a really tough ten days. Okay, thank you, Michael.